What's up guys, Sleeps here with another episode of my journey through an ultimate team and you're probably wondering right now why am I not seeing the hybrid squad that you promised me Sleeps, you're a horrible YouTuber. Well the reason for that being is that the Serie A tournament is out right now and I figured I'd go ahead and just get it out of the way because I'm gonna have to beat it anyway and fortunately I already have a Serie A squad built. If you've been watching this series for a while now you would recognize this team other than Informatri. I replaced Pato with him just because I, I liked Matri so much as normal card so I figured I'd give his Inform a go and some options I have on the bench Inform Close and I still have Pato but he's just on the bench so uh, I'm gonna have to beat this tournament anyway just because I set that goal for myself to you know beat as many tournaments as possible and build squads for them but like I said unfortunately I didn't have to spend any coins I just had to go ahead and play the tournament really so I'm gonna go ahead and try to beat it so in the first round we come across a 4-1-2-1-2 squad and the only thing that that looked weak in this squad was Sam well of course he's an 84 overall and he's gonna have good defending stats but let's face it he's not the paciest and pace is a big factor in FIFA 13 so I was hoping I could exploit that weakness right there but Rubinho actually gets the first goal because this guy refuses to close me down and basically all I had to do was just walk and shoot not really much to it Boateng kind of a similar goal I got a little bit closer some unnecessary un unnecessary skills and right there that should be a red card for the goalkeeper but of course in online play I think actually I think this even may apply to kickoff you it's impossible to get your goalkeeper sent off which I think is a bunch of shenanigans because uh, that would you know that would encourage people to have backup keepers on the bench and stuff and let's say they didn't have one on the bench then they'd just be really screwed so I think that, that you should be able to have your goalkeeper sent off in online play but anyway let's not talk about that at this point it is 3-1 he made a substitution Luis Muriel got, uh, managed to pull one back but then we get the tramp right back Abate putting that one away not much we can do and then or not much he can do rather but at this point we we have hit the breaking point I think I spoke about this a couple episodes ago that everybody has their breaking point in FIFA and it just gets to the point to where they don't care anymore and they just start playing reckless so uh, obviously right there I don't think he would have done that in the opening 10 minutes just bring his goalkeeper out for no apparent reason uh, Rubinho puts that one away Matri puts the, uh, the other one away before this uh, this guy basically gave up at this point and right here I was trying to go for a scorpion kick with Lamella uh, Matri decided he wanted to put his head on that one and put that one away and then from there I literally just stopped trying to score because if I had kept scoring the way he was bringing out his keeper we would have had like 15 goals so I was like you know what there's no point in showing 15 goals of me just putting it into an empty net so I literally just stopped scoring at that point and just saw the game through to the 90th minute so uh, we look for our next match that first one was ridiculously easy and I think this was the match where I actually play a subscriber I believe this guy was a, a subscriber and he was actually pretty damn good at FIFA so I was first looking at this team like okay closest slow I don't even know who those two who those two center backs are this should be a pretty easy W that was not the case this guy was pretty good he was frustrating me this is a great goal great passing I mean I went the wrong way just completely caught me off guard right there and scored a nice goal I'm um, right here he gets the uh, rebound off of my defender and then Zarate put away from a very crazy angle but I did not want to give up so I mean pretty much right at kickoff for a second half we managed to get one back through Vidal and then from there the comeback was on and by the way I'm gonna mention right now that this guy probably had somewhere uh, up to about 20 shots I wanna say maybe even more by the end of this game so this guy definitely deserved more um, in the 90 minutes I definitely could have lost this game easily like 4-5-1 but we managed to somehow grind out a 2-2 result going into extra time and then from there Rubinho is on a break and again Rubinho coming up clutch in the 90th minute to get us to extra time and then scoring in extra time to see us through to the next round in this tournament. Rubinho has to be one of the best left wingers in this game. I haven't used any, I think for me personally so far from the ones I've used, he's my favorite. Uh, Rubinho just comes up clutch time and time again so we managed to beat that guy. Good game to you if you are watching this video and we are on to the semifinals of this tournament. So uh, this guy in a 5-2-2-1 and I hate coming across people with 5 at the back but this back five actually didn't look that intimidating to me so I was going into it like okay I can I can actually take this win right here and he gives away a penalty Lamella doing some skills ends up getting taken down in the area Vidal steps steps up to take this and a lot I read a comment somebody saying you know geez sleeps don't go top net every time but top net just works from the penalty spot every time it just doesn't fail 
And although the penalty shootout in my last episode was pretty poor, uh, Topnet ended up getting me the win in that penalty shootout. So Matri gets himself a header. That, that's just too easy for him. He's going to score those all day. And then uh, he gets one back here. Um, not much I could do about this rebound. Balotelli just powering over Abate. Abate just, just got jumped all over and really couldn't do much about that one. Uh, this guy was just giving me way too much space to cross and they were just ended up being ridiculously easy goals If you give me that much space out wide, I'm gonna whip it in all day and right here He thought I was gonna go for the cross there Boateng cuts in and then we get ourselves the fourth goal And then from here, this is when he uh, he hit his breaking point um, He did not want anything to do with his game anymore Lamella actually almost fails right here on the sweat goal, but manages to put it away in the end so like I said, he hit his breaking point. Look at him. You see him just sliding all over the place. I'm just going to take it past you, you, you. And then boom, Rubinho scores very easily. And that was the last goal. And again, literally, I just stopped trying to score because if I kept trying to score, this scoreline would have also been ridiculous. Not as ridiculous as the other one, but I could have had like eight, nine goals. So I decided to stop scoring at that point. So we are on to the finals, which you're going to have to stay tuned for next episode. But uh, I do open a pack every five episodes, so we're going to go ahead and keep that tradition going. A lot of people like it, so it is episode five. Time for a pack opening. We're going to just open a 7,500 coin pack and see what we get. And in it, we get Caradinas, who is actually in form. How lucky is that? Our first pack of this series, or of season two, I should say, and we pull an in form. So very lucky. He is only discard value. I may, I may get like 10, 11k at the most. But it is nice. I only paid 7,500 and I get about, you know, like 13k in return. And I even got a 4, 2, 3, 1 card in there. So that was a pretty good pack to kick off these pack openings of every five episodes. So that is going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and leave a like. That would be awesome. And I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.